y'all we're back uh, we got one more before I got to go to bed here uh, this is angry Anderson and the song is called suddenly we saw angry Anderson he was the singer um, in the band Rose tattoo that we saw last night uh, and it, you know it's like hard rock like a hard metal sound you know it was very good like that really cool Aussie rock sound and uh, I read also that the song is famous um, in Australia because there was a TV show there called um, what was that neighbors yeah and um, I guess there's like a wedding on there and this song is playing on the wedding and the show and people really enjoyed it uh, so that's awesome you know but it just it kind of took me by surprise because I was like putting two to two together like so this guy angry Anderson he's like tatted up you know he's looking like like a tough uh, older man in the video that we saw and so if this is a love song or a love ballad like I'm wondering how this is gonna come out is it gonna be like how uh, Jimmy Barnes when a man loves a woman you know what I mean like it where it has like some kind of like it's like it is a love song but it's like that hard rock at the same time uh, but I'm ready oh and you guys were saying too that uh because I was saying like angry Anderson like he looks like he might have been like in a biker gang or you know just like a super tough dude and uh, I think y'all told me that like yeah he did kind of grow up rough and he got that that name angry Anderson when he was young um he, he happened to be more violent at that age you know he could have been a rough childhood he's a man who's a bit shorter so people kind of might have been messing with him and he had to show him what's up you know I'm not sure on that yet but I do want to learn more about him uh, but anyway man let's go dude I'm ready to hear this You know, Karate Kid 2, uh, the soundtrack, is it uh, Chicago or the singer of Chicago? I can't think of his name right now. It's one of the two, but they do like a couple of songs on there. Like this is giving me those vibes. So it's it's just shocking for him to, uh, from what we saw last night to, to this sound, you know, um, and you can see the people were loving it. Uh, this is fun, dude. Hang on, man. Let me rewind it a little bit. or you had it playing at your wedding I bet it was a lot uh, yeah it's catchy it sounds good it's uh, his vocal range you know we, we, we heard the, the harder rock side now so he's obviously uh, you know like a legit vocalist and uh, you know at least uh, two genres so far that we've seen from him uh, but yeah I like this man
song. Um, yeah, that definitely had to be the 80s because uh, the male in the wedding, he had like that like Patrick Swayze MacGyver haircut. <laughs> I wish I wasn't going bald. I swear I'd have a moment like that, but it would be a little bit more extreme. But um, yeah, that was a cool song, man. I want to look more into uh, Angry Anderson and just learn about him, like who he is as a man. I know he's done some charity work and, you know, I love to see that. Um, and, and, and I know to some degree also about Jimmy Barnes, the things that we've talked about in the comments is uh, when somebody grows up really rough, you know, and there's like that really messed up period. And then they they start to figure out life, you know, and um, and they become the person that they know that they should be, you know, like a, a better person. Like they're still a hard rocker, you know, they still get down. But like as far as like being like a good human, you know what I'm saying? It's like it just seems to to happen, especially as you get older. But when you see like rock stars do that, I like that when it's like real, you know what I mean? It's not just some like Instagram thing where they're trying to like pretend like they're a good person. So I like that, man. Shout out to Angry Anderson, dude. He's, uh, is he 75 this year, 74? Man. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we will see more Angry Anderson and Rose Tattoo. Um, I got to go to bed. <laughs> I couldn't sleep, but uh, I think I'll be able to calm down now a little bit. That was cool, man. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.